since it pours. Am I right? My goodness. So uh, welcome. It's Kaylee Bird. Uh, glad to have you on this crazy coronavirus Friday or whatever. Um, so I figured I'd just take a few minutes to kind of clue you in on what's going on in this particular artist's life and how this um, insanity is affecting me so far. So um, coincidentally, I am here in Tennessee in the middle of nowhere on a tiny farm because I'm at an artist residency and that was the plan. So I kind of wound up being in like the best place to be for a pandemic. Um, I wound up having the space to myself. So as far as uh, social isolation, uh, yeah, got that covered. I'm pretty much just hanging out here with the, uh, the miniature donkeys over there. You can see everybody kind of holing up and there's some uh, chickens running around. But um, yeah, so that's where I am right now, which worked out well because of the whole social, social isolation thing. But um, it's not all fun and games for we YouTuber artists now, don't get me wrong, because um, I have personally had to cancel like all of my upcoming gigs. I'm a figure model, um, I'm a teacher, I had meetings to like, um, talk to different folks about teaching opportunities and gigs. I had um, modeling gigs. I had five other like towns and cities I was planning to go to after this because you know I've been traveling in Vaughn the Adventure Van. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm kind of suspended. Oh, I have uh, more residencies I was laying up here back from. Like um, everything, all of my plans, all of my gigs have basically been suspended for the foreseeable future. So that's scary. So um, I'm not trying to be all doom and gloom, but you know, I feel like a lot of times I'm really cheery here on uh, YouTube and I just want to be kind of realistic about what it's like sometimes. Um, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, not only have I uh, lost all of my um, gigs going on right now, but my hard drive just uh, crashed uh, a few days ago. So I've been trying to be all proactive, pandemic style, like, oh, what a great time to make new content for my viewers and all this and that. So, you know, I went and downloaded a new video editing platform program and it completely crashed my computer uh, Wednesday night. And I spent all day yesterday, me and my computer both having meltdowns, <laughs> trying to fix this. Um, so basically, right now, every single aspect of my art business is like on hold. And that's a scary thing, like everything in person, um, some upcoming art shows I had applied to, all of my teaching gigs, and now my um, computer. So like everything is riding on my iPhone right now. So I figured that this was a good time to kind of get real with you guys. Um, what am I doing? Uh, uh, that pretty much so luckily I'm here at this space um, Camp Wonder Wonder um, and one of the things that they ask us to do is to leave a part of ourselves so I had already planned on doing a mural I'm redoing the bathroom here these are all gonna be full of like little um, herbs and plant life and things like that so um, I'm already uh, in the midst of painting a mural in the bathroom, which is nice. That's a, a nice opportunity. Um, I, I made this wonderful video and everything last week. Um, did this live painting. I had a video coming out today about like the pandemic and some hopeful things and some uh, money making um, online opportunities and uh, all kinds of helpful suggestions to help artists this week and all of that is kind of at a standstill. So basically right now I'm just trying to stay positive and trying to think of like ways to distract myself. Honestly, I guess is the bottom line when all the shiz goes down and there's nothing you can do and you can't go out and you can't do anything. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not the kind of girl that usually feels helpless. No. I usually feel pretty in control and strong in my situation and so to literally have like every single thing ripped away from me in the past like week has been a little stressful but um, in reality I guess when you lose everything you realize that you still have a lot so I still have my health at this point there's still food in the fridge like it's still 
you know, even though it's raining today, uh, there's still nature outside. I have all of my art supplies. I have sketchbooks. I have um, <laughs> a beautiful gift from one of my best friends, this amazing um, coloring book that I will be definitely utilizing since I don't have like Netflix or anything at this point. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I'm planning to go with this, but I guess I just wanted to like kind of be real with you guys. And um, I'm going to be coming out with a very positive video on Friday. Um, about, like I said, about the coronavirus. I'm, I'm painting this um, on screen while I discuss a few things. So one of the things that I've been trying to do here um, is connect with other artists and find out like what's going on with them, what uh, are some of the challenges they're facing. Obviously, there's a lot of them, and what are they doing about it? And so I want to be discussing sort of the three main things that I've been hearing is people being worried about losing out on art sales, obviously, um, missing out on like art shows, being able to go to them as well as being able to exhibit. And then lastly, missing out on art, art classes because a lot of schools and stuff have been canceled. I feel so bad, especially for seniors and stuff trying to get their class portfolio together. So those are kind of the three main topics that I'm working on. Um, right now trying to figure out how to solve and then also putting in a video. So uh, if you guys have anything like questions on those kind of things or solutions for those kind of things that you want to add in the comments, you know, let's try to get this community thing going. I think the best thing we can do, I've got a collaboration coming up with a few different artists, you know, um, the best thing we can do right now, honestly, is work together, try to build each other up. Um, you know, we just have to like sit tight. It's very frustrating to feel so helpless. I feel doubly helpless now at this moment. I felt a lot better on Wednesday when I was like, oh my God, I'm making the best video ever of my life. And then Wednesday night I was like, why is my computer making that blue screen? No. So it's very, you know, when everything is just like, okay, I'm complete. I'm, I'm just Kaylee. I am just a human being right now. I got nothing. We still got a lot. So let's be positive. Let's try to um, communicate. What do you guys still have? What is still, what's still going to make you smile? What's still going to um, be the thing that the sun shines on tomorrow for you? And um, you know, what are your, what are your concerns? What are some of the things that you'd like me to answer? I don't know. I think the only way to get through this is together, but at the same time is be separate. <laughs> I love you guys. All right. We'll figure it out.